All right, everyone. Welcome to this weekend sidereal astrology forecast. This is for March 9th to the 11th of 2018. All right, so this weekend, a lot going on astrologically. Essentially, starting on Friday, we do have the moon in a fucus. So like Thursday, still a great time for healing. Uh, deeper, that deeper connection to life, which leads to transformation and healing. But a very transformative weekend nonetheless, because uh, not only is the moon going to be going through the galactic center, over the galactic center in a fucus, uh, which is always transformative for our emotions anyways, Mars is going over the galactic center around Saturday this weekend. So collectively, there is this transformation of our masculine side, um, the Mars energy, the side of ourself that has these desires and needs, this self-identity that is now going through this ego death, which will come out the other side with this fresh new start, this healed energy and transformation. So that's taking place going into next week, but the moon over the galactic center can leave us feeling quite healed um, and feeling a bit free spirited after the transformation, particularly going into Saturday and Sunday. So what's interesting about this energy is that on Sunday, Mars is trining up to Uranus, giving some support with this. Maybe there's a bit of um, spontaneity we're feeling. Maybe we're feeling like break, like we've broken free of some limitations, right? So there's this freedom, this change with that masculine energy with Mars. We also have the sun sextile up to Pluto. So there is this empowering energy, particularly on Sunday and Mercury squaring Saturn. So maybe some constructive ways of working with our mind and communication. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down one day at a time, starting first with Friday. Uh, here's the sky for Friday. Again, this uh, video and channel is for sidereal astrology. We are using the actual size of the constellations. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below uh, because the signs are different. All right. So uh, yeah, so moon in a fucus. A fucus is all about that healing energy, right? So Friday going into Saturday, uh, this great time to do this inner work, particularly Friday. So anything that does come up for healing, right? Great to accept. Well, first of all, just become more aware of, then accept, and then maybe even take some action in the face of some wounds, right? In the face of those, uh, you know, things that are inhibiting us that by taking action can leave us feeling healed and transformed. So this is particularly important because we will be in the third quarter phase of the lunar month uh, going into this weekend. So it's great to challenge ourselves with this kind of stuff right? Uh, particularly with squares, it is about initiative. It is about working with the uncomfortable energy to do what we, you know, set out to do. And that could very well be since last Thursday's full moon. Okay. So that's the Friday energy in terms of the uh, aspects. Um, we do, of course, still have Jupiter uh, now starting to go retrograde on Friday. So on a larger picture sense, over the past or for the, the next coming four months, really good to reconsider some of our belief systems, our worldview, how we see possibilities and potentials in our life. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I did talk about this in depth, so do check that out. All right, so that's Friday, right? This sort of still healing energy. Now, as we get into Saturday, uh, the moon is going to be going over the galactic center along with Mars, so they're gonna get activated here, okay? So this is uh, collectively now going into next week, this transformation to, again, the masculine side of ourself and even collectively as well. So there is this sort of, um, like I was saying, this rebirth that take, that's taking place. So what I would say is the best way of working with this is practicing non-attachment, right? Non-attachment to our needs, our desires, and even our sense of self-identity right? Who we are, what we want, right? Being non-attached to outcome because Mars is a very powerful planet and it actually traditionally rules a fucus and all this deeper energy. So it's much like Pluto in that regard. So it is the side of ourself that is willing to remove obstacles, right? Get down to the heart of the matter, right? Pursue things with that intent, with that action, with that 
directness. But over the galactic center, it is a void of that energy. Could even say it's depleting the energy to the point where there is this sort of death of it. Because where there's death, there's also birth, right? And so this is what this part of the sky represents is the death and the rebirth of the energy. So this is of our, again, desires, needs, and what you could fundamentally call our masculine side. So great to be non-attached to allow for the rebirth to take place, to allow for the ego to die, so to speak, so that we are, again, you know, coming from this clean slate of what is being reborn with all of this, which will likely be with much more non-attachment, much more acceptance, right? So we're pursuing the things we want in a much healthier way. All right, so very important here. This happens about once every two and a half years with Mars. So I think it is uh, noteworthy for the weekend. So that's going to be all weekend, though. It's going to take us into next week, that transformed energy, but likely uh, some things shifting with this, uh, maybe on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, with the moon activating Mars um, over that galactic center. All right, so what's interesting about this is that um, along with the moon going into Sagittarius, which is typical of this, right? After the healed energy, healing energy, we do get into more of the expansive energy. So Saturday, Sunday, excellent time for philosophy, opening our worldview, uh, maybe even getting into a bit of adventurous spirit, going for walks, hikes, maybe things like that. Uh, really good to expand our horizons. And we could be feeling emotionally good when we are doing that now with that being said also uh mars is trining up to uranus going into sunday but that could be particularly strong on saturday as well so this is uh not typical of this transformation is that now in this sense there's the supportive energy with that mars masculine self-identity energy and the support here is that uranus is giving us the sense of freedom with it the sense of liber liberation, maybe, you know, breaking some chains, some things that are holding us back that we do feel, and it can be very supportive to feel quite liberated from this sort of transformation. So excellent weekend for trying new things in terms of that Mars energy, in terms of pursuing things, taking initiative action, right? That side of ourself. There's great freedom with this. There's great change with this. Right, so trying new things, thinking outside the box. It's very experimental with Uranus. It's supposed to be different, new. So I think the more open we are to newness, spontaneity, right, can be great with this trine. All right, so uh, so that's the uh, trine there going into Sunday. And um, yep, we do have a couple other aspects which probably won't take as strong of a of an influence here on Sunday, but still important to talk about. Uh, the sun is going to be sex dialing up to Pluto. So this is good for empowerment. I think it's just supporting more of the uh, coming out of the transformed healed energy, uh, feeling like we are willing to remove obstacles. We are feeling empowered, right? And uh, there just could be an opening to cultivate a bit more of that. Now, Mercury is going up to Saturn. So when it comes to our minds, we could be maybe thinking about things a bit seriously, collectively, on uh, Sunday in particular. So uh, good to not take anything too seriously with the mind or what the mind might come up with. Of course, still take it seriously, but this can be a bit of a heavy energy sometimes. So it's good to have that balance and to still see, okay, what does take time? What will take time? All right, how can we be patient maybe with our ideas? Maybe with the things we're thinking about, right? Take it one step at a time, I think is great with Saturn. And anything you can do to challenge yourself with communication or with your mind or reading, writing, any of these practical things, or maybe even your routine can be great to challenge yourself with and build constructively with this square to Saturn. All right, so that is uh, the weekend in a nutshell. Um, let me just make sure I've covered it all. Actually, the sun is going to be shifting into Pisces as we get into next week too. So this is adding, adding to more of the watery energy. You know, we've already had Mercury and Venus in Pisces. Um, so it's been this sort of, you know, intuitive time, uh, importance of being receptive, letting go of what's outside of our control. And this is being more activated uh, as the sun now transits into Pisces going into next week. So our focus, 
is going into the oceanic energy, into the intuition, into the vastness of life. So, um, you know, naturally really good to, again, just be aware of our beingness, the inner world, and essentially the present moment. All right, so that is the weekend in a nutshell. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thank you again for all of your support, and I will see you all on Monday for the daily forecast.